together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about colors. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Now take two. Mix two colors and you'll make something new. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. You can also add a little bit of black or white. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? It's a red apple. That's right! Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? Hmm, a red car? Yes! And what's this? Hmm. It looks like a red cat. That's right. What's this one? That's a red splotch. Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a red apple, a red car, a red cat, and a red splotch. What do they all have in common? They're all red. That's right! Today, I'm only painting red things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make red our special color of the day. Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Hmm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great! Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look! My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> Look how smooth it looks! My 
I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... We clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. I'm crunching leaves. But only red leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Which apple is red? There it is! Red apple. Which book is red? There it is! Red book. Which umbrella is red? There it is! Red umbrella. Which flower is red? There it is! Red flower. Marvelous! It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Zanel Sees Numbers. Let's find out what happens. Let's begin. Zanel Sees Numbers. Written by Laura Delange. Illustrated by Henry Coetzee. Designed by Arthur Atwell. Everyone tells Zanel that numbers are all around her. But no matter how hard she tries, she can't see them. Zanel asks Grandmother to help her see some numbers. Grandmother points to the jars on the shelf and counts. One, two, three, four. But Zanel is unhappy. Those aren't numbers. Those are jars. Zanel asks Mom to help her see some numbers. Mom points to the carrots in the garden and counts. One, two, three, four. But Zanel is unhappy. Those aren't numbers. Those are carrots. Zanel sees Linda counting the chickens to see if they have all come back home. One, two, three, four. But Zanel is unhappy. Those aren't numbers. Those are chickens. Zanel sees Auntie counting the hours until dinner. One, two, three, four. But Zanel is unhappy. Those aren't numbers. Those are hours. Zanel can't see the numbers in the world. She goes to speak to her sister, who is eight years old and knows everything. 
If you look at anything in the right way, you can see a number in it, her sister says. She gives Zanel a pair of magic glasses and tells her to go look for numbers in the world. One, two, three, four. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Monkeys. Ooh, monkeys like me. That's right. Today, we'll all pretend to be monkeys, just like you. Yay! <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many monkeys did I say there were? Five! Good listening. Here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing too. Let's count how many monkeys there are. One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now how many monkeys are there? One, two, three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Let's count how many are left. One, two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? One. One little monkey jumping on the bed. It fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. That's the song. Well done. Yay! Thank you for singing with me. You too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? A! What's this letter? X! What's this letter? H! What's this letter? K! Now let's do it fast. Nice work, everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say it. Beginning letter sounds. Oh, look! Hedgehog has maracas! Mm, mm, maracas!
maracas. Mm, mm, maracas. <laughs> Do you hear that? Maracas begins with M. Mm, mm, maracas. <laughs> Monkey has a triangle. T -t triangle. T -t triangle. What letter makes the beginning sound in triangle? T. <laughs> That's right. Triangle. Pig is playing a keyboard. K -k keyboard. K -k keyboard. What letter do you hear? K. Cool. And Mr. Frog has a banjo. B, b, banjo. B, b, banjo. What letter do you hear? B. That's right. Let's listen to the beginning letters again. Maracas. <laughs> What's that letter? M. T. -t triangle. <laughs> What's that letter? T. K, K. Keyboard. <laughs> What's that letter? K. B. B. Banjo. What's that letter? B. Let's put these four letters in our learning book. Say each letter with me. M. <laughs> T. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Listen. 
la 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 bye hush my babe and do not cry in your cradle now you swing until you sleep i'll softly sing la 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 bye Bye.